thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you lord for you is good all the time good afternoon brothers and sisters i'm victor from bombay giving this testimony of my mildred who is set free from ovarian and abdominal cancer in jesus name amen on 1st april 2018 it was easter sunday we received this shocking news after the ultrasound and followed by ct scan she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and tumor the gynec doctor and the radiologist doctor discouraged me by saying everything is over i replied to the doctor it's not over my jesus said by his wounds we are healed and we believe in his promise <clears throat> we are praying the to the holy spirit to guide us to the right doctor with urgent appointment surgeon surgery was done on the 16th april 2018 and the surgery took 6 hours so I was praying in tongues and saying holy spirit it is your hand who is operating on my wife and not the doctors and the surgery was successful before surgery we called brother johnson and he prayed over her on the phone and said carry on with the treatment we knew brother johnson as we were attending his prayer meeting and teaching in dubai following his teaching in youtube so we had a strong faith in jesus and went ahead with the surgery and follow up with the chemotherapy treatment she was in pain during the chemotherapy by but we were holding on to the promise of god and we were reciting the scripture 1 peter 24 some 91 some 103 20 mark 11 23 hebrew 4 12 mark 16 18 isaiah 54 17 and worries worries and fear from the jclm white book the chemotherapy went on for six months after that the ct scan was done and there it shows a small nodule still existing so again chemotherapy was given but it was not successful no, no, the nodules were multiplying on the stomach lining and doctor tried different type of chemotherapy till october 2021 then her condition was getting bad could not eat anything by mouth and was hospitalized most of the time yes <coughs> the treatment was on i call sister elena yes i knew i say yes, i knew her by contact and she gave me sister sumitra's contact number and she said she is a cancer warrior in jesus name sister sumitra called us and gave her her journey with cancer and how she was healed she prayed over my on my wife and she used to send voice messages praying to my wife and she was when she was hospitalized during her bed condition also. Then also there's another sister, Jacqueline, prayed on her often on the video call. In the month of November, December, her condition was deteriorating and could not go for duty. So I spoke to the oncologist doctor who was treating her, asking him if I could take her to the to India from UAE for further treatment. He said, no, you cannot take her anywhere. <sighs> Sorry. As she is not fit to serve. And that is our last stage. And he also said, give her now anything of her wish. This is all finished. But I told the doctor, my Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. The cancer is finished, not my wife. And I'll come back and prove how great my Jesus is. And how I and I had a full faith in and belief in Jesus through the Bible teaching from Brother Johnson at JCILM. I never told my wife what the doctors told me about her condition. And I have to always cancel the word of, of the doctors saying, Lord, 
we trust in you your word is the truth i decide to bring her to bombay so i booked a ticket and her ticket on the wheelchair passenger as a wheelchair passenger on the 3rd of december but the travel agent wanted a certificate from the doctor to say she is fit to travel so again i approached the same doctor who was treating her he just refused to give then i told the travel agent that i will take all the responsibility if anything happen on the way as my jesus holy spirit is with us so we landed safely to bombay on the 1st of jan 2022 with prayer support from sister sunitra and all all the other warriors from jesus the following day we met a good experienced doctor and started a treatment after the third chemo my wife was bed and admitted in hospital in icu isolation room on the third day in icu she became serious and they wanted to put her on the ventilator to save her life i was called in by the doctor to sign some papers but i just refused to sign and told the doctor please don't put her on the ventilator and give me just 10 minutes to pray as i have a faith in jesus and he will heal her completely but the doctor said they will do what they want what they wish to do then i said no you cannot put her on a ventilator and i came out of the icu in the it was midnight and just i just banged my on the knees with a loud voice I call out to Jesus. Jesus, have mercy on my wife. I prayed in tongues all the time. All the attendants who were sleeping jumped up and came to me. After some time, the security guard came to me and said, "The doctor wants me inside." I knew my wife is stable. As of praying all the time. the doctor told me now she is stable and not to not to fear as the parameters started normal all praise to my jesus in the meanwhile one preacher from ranchi who we knew called and told me that they were they were also praying for her in jesus name and they asked me to give the phone to her in the icu they will pray on her i did this secretly and they to pray on her on the phone that night there was a boy who was attending his father in icu who had a transplant of kidney and was not responding to to the donated kidney so i asked him my wife is healed in jesus name can i pray on your father he said yes I asked his father's name and looking through the edge of the window where his father was on the bed I prayed in Jesus name and next morning the boy's father was shifted to the ward as the kidneys were responding the son thank me I told him don't thank me thank my Jesus after the discharge from the hospital again chemotherapy started she was improving we were praying the scripture believing she is healed completely each time during the chemo i used to call sister sumitra and sister jackie to pray sister sumitra gave me a scripture mark 16:18 to believe i lay my hand on the medicine and pray and also isaiah 11:2 to, to give wisdom to and understanding to the doctors On the 21st July 22 she was she had a follow up with the doctors with a blood report C125 and ultrasound doctor seeing both the report just stood up and said just go out and ask the nurse to remove the chemo coat as she is she is healed completely and no need of more further treatment 
you are healed completely go and enjoy your life now we were so happy and thanks to jesus for his mercy and heal for healing my wife we got out of the hospital and called sister sumitra and gave her the good news she too was excited with joy she gave praise to jesus what a wonderful jesus we have also i want to say that from january 2022 we were attending eucharistic adoration online of logos retreat center at 3 pm and my wife said nine nine days icu prayer from the logos booklet by our father jos from bangalore before this is before going for the test during the adoration father jos had announced her name and said mili you are healed of abnormal cancer completely we believe and claim it was my wife who is healed of cancer i conclude thanking our lord jesus for putting brother johns in her life also all the prayer warriors who were praying for my wife not forgetting my sister sumitra sister jacqueline and my spiritual daughter sister martha who is in uk now thank you jesus praise you jesus god is good all the time all the time god is good praise the lord praise